Hello everyone, really interesting exponential equation today, minus 4 to the x equal to 4. And it looks like easy equation, but we have minus right here, so it's not like we can obviously say that x equal to 1, which is absolutely incorrect, because minus 4 to the first power equal to 4, which is absolutely incorrect, of course. Okay, let's start with this interesting explanation. So for example, if we don't have any parentheses, yeah, so if we have, for example, minus 4, to the power x equal to 4, if we have situation like that, yeah? So then multiplying by minus 1, so 4 to the x equal to minus 4. And as a result, this is exponential function, so we can easily real quick draw a graph real quick, so exponential function 4 to the x and minus 4, this is a constant right here below the 0, so minus 4 right here and 4 to the x right here. So as you can see, now no common point of intersection right here, so this line does not intersect with this x is x right here, so does not intersect, and moreover, if this line does not intersect with this x, then it does not intersect with this one. So all this line does not intersect, so it's it tells us that right here we have no no real roots, no real roots. But this was a special case when we don't have parentheses. But in our case, we, we have these parentheses, so we need to work with parentheses, yeah? So in our case, we have this situation, minus four to the power x equal to equal to four. So this is our case, this is our situation. So first of all, this is function looks like a to the power y equal to x. Yeah, so I just write it as a variable. So a to the power y, we have this minus four, this is our a, y is x and x is four. So this is our special case, which case, this case can easily be solved by log. So log a right here as a base, right here x equal to y. So we can easily rewrite this function in this way to logarithm way, yeah? And moreover, let's write it not as a variable, but let's plug in all of these elements inside this log. What we'll have as a result? We'll have like log right here minus four as a base, right here four, equal to equal to x yeah so this is our uh, this expression can be written in a log way yeah so we can write this expression in this way so i hope you understand this step and right now this is log so everyone should know three main log rules right here if we have log base need to be positive this is our first step base need to be positive in our case base is our our 4 yeah minus 4 sorry in our case base is minus 4 which is which is less than zero. So this rule does not work in our case. Okay, second rule. Second rule, everyone should know that base need to be, don't need to be equal to one. In our case, we have minus four, which is of course, minus four is not equal to one, which is good for us. So second step is, is great. Okay, the third step, the third step, uh, x need to be positive. So this number need to be positive. Of course, we can easily solve it uh, in a positive way. So right here, our third step is, is great for us. So as you can see, we have the first step is good for us. The second is good, the third is good, but the first step does not work in our case. So we need to say that right here we will have no real, no real solution because we need uh, all three step works. Yeah, we need all three step works, and when all three step works, then we say, okay, real solution we have right here. But if one does not work, for example, a equal to one, this one works, two second does not work, and third works, then we say as well, there is no real solution. So two not works, one works, no real solution. All three need works, and then we say, okay, we have real solution. So right here, no real solution in our case. In this case, in this special case, no real solution. And in this one that we have right here in the beginning, no real solution. But what about complex roots? It's really, it's really interesting because we need to find solution right here. How can we solve this question? Okay, we have minus four to the power x equal to four. And let's find from here our real, real uh, our complex solution because we don't have real in this case and in this case. Okay, how can we do this? We have this minus right here and we know from the complex numbers that i square equal to minus one, yeah? So let's plug in instead of this minus, let's plug in this i square, yeah? This i square, let's plug in instead of this minus. If you plug in this, we will have like this question. We will have four times i square, this is our minus, raised to the power x equal to four. So from here, we can easily find our x in terms of complex numbers, yeah? Because we have i, we have our x, so step by step, we can solve it, yeah? Let's do this. If we, if we raise this to the power x, we need to raise this element and this element to the power x. So, my, uh, not minus, like four to the x times i to the power two x, 
equal to 4. Yeah, so I hope you understand this step. This is really important step in our case. Okay, let's go next. How can we solve this next? We have 4 to the x, we have i to the power 2x, so let's take log on both sides, because we have a power, it's not good for us. If we take log from the left, log from this expression, and log from this from this 4, yeah, I don't want to, I don't want to write this again. So we have this expression, if we have a product, if you know a little bit about log, this product can be changed as addition, yeah, because a product, log of a product of two expression can be written as a sum of two logs. So right here we have a sum, but two log, first log, this one, so log 4 to the x, and second one, this one, log, log i to the power 2x equal to log, log 4. A lot of logs, this x jump right here, to x jump right here, so we can rewrite it in another way. x log 4 plus 2x log i equal to log equal to log 4. Okay? X is a common right here, right here, and right here, so we can easily factor it as a common. If we factor it, we'll have x in parentheses log 4 plus 2 log i and equal to log 4. Okay, let's look closely to this to this expression right now. So we have our variables, which is really great right here, a variable that we need to find. This is a constant, which is really great. 2 log i, this is like a constant, but in imaginary numbers, but this still is a constant, yeah? And log 4, this is a constant. So we need to divide both sides by this expression, log 4 plus 2 log i. If we divide from here, this expression can be, we cancel this expression, so we have like x, we have like x equal to in numerator log 4 from here and in our denominator log 4 plus 2 log plus 2 log i. Okay, this is our this is our answer to this interesting question. This is our x in terms of complex numbers right here. So this is our this is our answer. This is our answer, this is our x answer, this is one complex root, one complex root. And no, no real roots, no real roots, no real roots. This is our solution to this interesting, interesting question. Okay, and let's uh, look once more real quick. So our question, if we don't have parentheses, no real roots. If we have parentheses, this is our case, we still don't have real number roots. And complex roots can be solved like that. So we can, we can change this minus s y i square, and as a result, find our x. This is my explanation to this problem. Of course, if you have your own approach, it will be really interesting to read about it. Also, thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day. If it's not hard to you, leave a like below the video. I really appreciate it and it it's inspires me a lot and it helps me a lot to make new content every day. See you in the next videos. Have a great day.